What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a Game Boy Advance emulator for your Windows 8 PC. Now, I already have a video showing you guys how to do this for your Windows 7 PC or anything below that. So if you guys are interested in that instead, then just click on the annotation that's popping up on your screen right now. Or look in the description and the link will be right there. So without further ado, let's begin. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to make a new folder in your desktop. This way, all the files that we download just goes into that folder and it'll be way more organized. So to do this, right click on your screen and then click new and then click folder. Name it something you'd recognize. And since we're downloading the Game Boy, why not just name it Game Boy? Alright, so now that we have that, we can move on to the next step. So this next step is only for the people that do not have WinRAR installed on their computers. If you already have WinRAR installed on your computers, then you can skip this step. So if you don't have WinRAR installed on your computer, the first thing you're going to want to do is, well, to go to this website. You can either look in the description and click on the link that's right there, or look at the address bar and see what I typed in. Either way, it's going to send you to this website. So once you're on this website, you're going to want to find out the computer version you have, because if you download the wrong one, it's not going to work. So to do this, hover your mouse on the right side of your screen and click on the little search tab, and then type in computer. And this PC is going to pop up, so right click on that, and then click properties. And right here where it says system type, that's where you want to look. Mine is a 64-bit operating system, so my computer is a 64-bit, and I'm going to want to download the 64-bit version of the file. If yours says 32-bit operating system, then you're going to want to download the 32-bit version of the file of WinRAR. So once you find that out, exit this, and scroll down, um, and download the language you would like. It does not matter what language you download, just as long as you download the correct version. So I'm going to download English, and since my computer is a 64-bit, I'm going to want to click this one right here. Once I click that, this is going to pop up, save file or cancel, click save file. And remember that folder we created in the beginning of this video? We're going to want to save it there. So it's on our desktop, so we click desktop, scroll down a little bit. I named it Game Boy. Uh, I don't know what you named it, but once you find the folder, click it and save it in there. And once you do that, you can move on to the next step. So the next thing we're going to want to do is to download the program itself. And to do that, we're going to want to go to this website. Now remember, all the links will be down in the description below, or you can just look at the address bar and see what I typed in. Either way, it's going to take you to this website. Once you're here, you're going to want to download the program. But before you download the program, I want to let you know that I'm aware that it says Visual Boy Advanced Setup, and emphasis on the setup. It's not really the setup, it's just that when I was uploading the file, it didn't let me rename the file without it affecting the file itself. So I had to keep it with that name. Um, but yeah, don't worry, there is no setup required, it's the full program, right? Okay, so with that being said, to download this, all you got to do is click on this big ass green download button. And once this pops up, click the save file button and save it in that folder we created in the beginning of this video. So it's on your desktop. So click desktop, scroll down. I named it Game Boy and save it in there. And once you do that, you can move on to the next step. All right, guys. So once you download the Game Boy Advance emulator, the next thing you're going to want to do is to download the games for you, right? So to do that, you go to this website, coolrom.com. Now all the links will be down in the description below, or you can just look at the address bar and see what I typed in. Either way, it's going to send you to this website. Once you're on this website, you can either look individually uh, for your game by clicking right here where it says ROM search and typing in the name of the game that you want, or you can just scroll down on this window and click on one of these available games. You can also just browse by letter if you want to do that. Uh, but if you're watching this video, you're most likely here for Pokemon, so it's probably going to be one of these two. Or down here somewhere. Anyways, I'll just download Pokemon Emerald to show you guys what it looks like. So I'll click on that. And this web page will pop up. So once it pops up, scroll down uh, where it says download now and click on that. And once you do that, this should pop up. And save your file. Now remember that folder we created in the beginning of this video? We're going to want to save it there. So click desktop, scroll down, and find where it says Game Boy and save it in there. And once you do that, you're ready to move on to the next step. Crap guys, I'm glad that I caught this before I published the video. Uh, it's basically this thing, the CR Downloader. Uh, it's, I don't know, it depends on what game you're trying to download, it'll have a different name. But it, I noticed that it ends with .exe. That's an executable file, meaning it's it's not your game, pretty much. Right? It's not the game you're trying to download. It's something completely different. And I've also noticed that this is in kilobytes. It's uh, It doesn't matter the size, because sometimes it's 500 and sometimes it's 400. I don't know, it changes. But the RAR files or your game that you're trying to download 
is in megabytes. It's normally like 6.6 .6 megabytes, uh, 5 point something megabytes. I don't know. Depends on the game you're trying to download. And for those that don't know, megabytes are bigger than kilobytes. Okay, so the, if you're trying to download a Game Boy Advance game, make sure it's in megabytes and also make sure it ends with dot zip or dot ar r a r okay so that's why they call it zip files or rar files you know um okay hopefully you understood that if not put it that in the comment section and uh i'll try to explain anyways uh i'm with the video all right guys now that we have everything we need uh we can start playing the game so to do this open up that folder you created and all your files should be in there and I'm just going to go over as to why you downloaded these programs, uh, specifically WinRAR. Uh, WinRAR is just um, an extraction, extraction tool, basically. It's just to open up RAR files. Um, I know this one says .zip or zip file. Um, your computer can automatically open those, but if it ends in .rar, that's a RAR file, and only WinRAR can open those. Now, if you plan on continuing downloading games from that website, most of their ROMs or games are in RAR files, so you'll need WinRAR. But if you're only downloading this game, uh, Pokemon Emerald, and it's in a zip file, then you don't need to install WinRAR. That's completely up to you. Um, but, you know, it's recommended that you do. Anyways, um, now that we got that out of the way, if you don't have WinRAR installed and you wish to install it, then all you gotta do is click on it, or double click on it, and this uh, user account control should pop up on you. And then if it does, just click yes. And if it needs an administrator password, or if it needs a password, type that in and just click yes. After that, this should pop up. I know this says it's a trial, but it's like an unlimited trial. WinRAR is weird like that. Anyways, um, yeah, just click install and click whichever ones you want. Uh, if you want, you can check them all. Doesn't really matter. And then just click OK and click done. And then close this out. And there you go. You have WinRAR installed. The next step is to extract your game that you downloaded. Now, in my case, I downloaded Pokemon Emerald, so since I installed WinRAR, no, it's now going to turn into a bookcase. If you don't have WinRAR installed, it's not going to be a bookcase. It's going to probably be like some kind of folder. Anyways, uh, all you got to do is right click on it and then click extract here. Um, it should extract right there. And there's your Pokemon game. Now the next thing you have to do is to open up your Visual Boy Advanced Emulator, which is this thing. So just click on that. The user account control is going to pop up on you. Um, just click yes. And if you need a password, type that in and click yes. And it should start up. All right, so now that you have it open, um, yeah, I know it looks weird, but all you got to do is click file and click open and there's your Pokemon game. But, you know, if you don't, if this doesn't pop up on you like right away, just click the desktop since that's where your folder's at and then open up the folder where your game is at. And mine's just Game Boy, so it's right there. It's going to have sound, so hold on. Uh, sorry, that's like loud for me since I have the earphones on. Anyways, if you guys want to know what your controls are, all you got to do is click options and then click joypad and configure and then just click on whichever one, the first one. And here are your controls basically. 